Gombe, governor, expose. You will be shocked, okay, what some northern governors are doing. You'll be shocked to your bone. Like, seriously, shocked. The governor of Gombe State called the army and told them not to respect the anti-grazing law in the south. That, you know, for instance, the attorney general of the federation does not, I mean, it does, it's, not, it's not even listening, it's not paying attention, it's not doing anything with regards to, you know, what is going on in the south. It's not ensuring that the law is in force. Although it's a law, Niger I mean, yesterday we saw uh, the governor of uh, Ondo State, Akere Dolu, who cried out that Nigerian military police are not ready to arrest headsmen who are committing crime. It's the governor, it's not a farmer's or a group of people. It was the governor who cried out. He said the Nigerian military are the ones aiding and supporting crime. They are not saying anything. They are allowing this to happen and they are doing nothing about it. Gombe governor called the army and told them that they should not, they should not uh, touch headsmen. They should go ahead destroying farmland. These are governors, supposed to be leaders. I wonder what their hearts and their mindset really is. Hence the insecurity in the north. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Gombe governor differs on open grazing in the southern part of the country. The Nigerian army turned down the request by Governor Mohamed Yahaya of Gombe to discourage Southern Governor's call on the ban on open grazing by not implementing it. In a remark on a five-day three-division operation planning code at the Gombe International Hotel, the Governor concluded and condemned the position of the southern counterpart on the controversial issue of open grazing. According to the governor, the governor should rather think of providing establishment of colonies for cattle rearers instead of totally ban on their mode of operation. Every Nigeria has a fundamental right to do their business without intimidation or threat. He reasoned Argue, reason, arguing that if the governors and those who share same sentiments could approve space for other business interests, cattle rearing to deserve the same sentiment. He said, if you say no to open grazing, you should provide them colonies, governor of Gombe, they should pay for it. People rent store and they pay. They should pay. They should rent land space and pay it's not free why do you guys think that what is wrong with them eating their, their cattle eating the grass in the north let's continue it said that uh, cattle rearing is like other business thank god you recognize a business you should provide necessary conducive environment for those who are doing it they are nigerians too he stressed yahaya urged the organization and participant to include the burning issue that paralyzed the country in their training. However, the general officer commander, three division, who is also the commander of the operation safe haven, major general, speak on the cattle ranching and told the governor, I cannot commit for now to your request not to honor the law in the southern part of the country. Our professional status and further develop, we develop, develop the country and we must follow law and order. I hope it's not words of mouth that is not truly implemented. You see what's going on in this country? If, if not for today's day and age that there is, you know, news outlets and you can hear some of the things that are going on. These are some of the secrets going on in the background. We are a governor. We wake up and tell the people that the southern governors have no rights to implement open grazing. And guess what? Whether you like it or not, most of our security personnel are from the north. Yeah, they've so done, they've so done it so that the south is at their mercy. Oh, you don't understand it. Hmm. We are the military schools in this country. We are the training and the campground. And you know, Nigeria, we have this sentiment that as soon as somebody comes to see where is your catchment area, we'll first of all take people from this area that this thing is closer to them than you that is coming from afar. What does that do? Prevent the people from that region or that area of getting opportunity to some of the things they should have. And guess what? 
things are worse off than you can imagine. So these are some of the things going on now. Gombe government, you know, a governor is saying that, ah, you don't have to listen to them, blah, 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 blah. These are the, you know, the, the, the terrible things going on. Why have you discussed with the southern governors before you are going to sabotage them and tell the military? Because you can see now, all the military uh, hubs and everything are in the north. They want to even carry out, you know, they want to even carry out, a, 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 they want to bring up a new training, a, a new training center. And the new training center is also going to be in Kano State. What happened to every other? So the land they are saying they should give to the cattle to rare. Can those lands not be given to military school also in the south? Because they don't want the south to occupy that position of uh, security. So that they can be the one to determine and to call the shot on that ground. Nigerians, whether you like it or not, there is oppression in the land. You may not want to accept it. You may not want to believe it. Have you heard of the word called oppression? It is real. Oppression is real and is on ground. So what do we do? It is a wake-up call. It is a rise to responsibility and truth to say we will not allow this oppression to continue. Every one of us, you know, it's a clear indication that we need to rise up. We need to stand strong and we need to stay true to the cause that this is not acceptable. You see, what, what's going on right now shows the involvement of those who are supposed to be in authority and why the Fulani headsmen are greatly emboldened because they know they've got backbones. They've got people who will, who will, who will support their interests. They've got people who will stand for them and will tell the other people off. They got people who will say, yes, you are doing well. Uh, you're, do, you're doing well. So, I mean, they can't be bothered, you see. So, these are some of the things going on, to be quite candid. These are some of the things happening. So, rise up, my people. It is the dawn of a new day. And you're beginning to know that you're beginning to see, know, and hear what exactly is happening. W what do you need to do? Be abrasive with the information. Be careful and pray about it. Whatever you can do in your little corner to make a difference, please go ahead and do. That's the way we safeguard ourselves. Leave us a comment. We really love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Bye.